Oh, welcome back. It's time for our second hot topic, and we have one of Nollywood's finest, an actress and producer, joining us to take a look at how Nollywood helps sustain our historical and traditional values. Nigeria's Nollywood is the second largest film industry in the world, with more than 2,500 movies each year and an estimated annual revenue of $6.4 billion, and watched all over the continent with a growing international audience. From its early days in 1992 to date, the Nigerian film industry has had its roots in the country's rich traditions and culture. The breakfast this morning shall be discussing with Telma Chukunyem, formerly known as Telma Mosu. She's an actress and a producer. Good morning to you, Telma. Good morning. Well, first of all, our hearts uh, goes out to you and your colleagues over the demise of Saint Obi, we, we we had that news over the weekend. Uh, very sad story there. Absolutely. All right. Very sad story. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Nollywood is fast becoming one of the country's greatest greatest export, and we're very proud of Nollywood for that. Well, telling the Nigerian African stories, what would you say have been some of the impacts of those movies in the sustenance of our traditional values? Um, I think Nollywood has actually gone a very long way to sustaining our culture, sustaining our traditional values. You know, um, aside from um, the normal contemporary movies that we make, we also have what you call epic movies or um, series, which goes ahead to depict our culture. We have a lot of them that are running. I mean, we have a telenovela called Riona that um, depicts the Shekiri culture and the things that happened in that time, I think in the 18th century, which I actually even featured in, and it's running in African um, magic. So, and we have a lot. Mystic River is also a Netflix job depicting our culture. Still um, something from Nollywood showing or showcasing what our cultures are. I know that some people will say, oh, we have um, a lot of... Um, movies that maybe showcase what people could call the negative aspect, maybe rituals and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is this. In every society, they have a way they, they seek solutions to whatever their challenges may be. For those who are in the, the Western world, they go to church, they pray. Here in Africa, we also go to church and we pray. But there are beliefs or traditions and things that you know had, um, had been there even the time of our forefathers, that worked for them. So, and um, most of the times in our stories, we try to depict those things. For example, maybe um, um, a child is born, I'm just trying to paint a scenario, mm -hmm. and that child dies, and the woman gets pregnant again, and the child dies again, and, you know, they would need to find out what exactly is going on by their own medium of worship and things that had happened, mm -hmm. you know, f with their fathers. And in most cases, they might find a solution and then they uh, deal with whatever the matter is. And you'll find out that the woman begins to have children that will live on. So I think in so many ways, um, Nollywood has tried to actually depict our culture. Some people might say, oh, there's too much black magic. Oh, there's too much that. But uh, I cannot really say Africans are so much about black magic. But the truth of the matter is that somehow it's embedded in part of our culture, just like you have um, the people in in um, in England or in Europe go to their Catholic churches, uh, you know, and um, go to their Anglican churches or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. We also have things that were holding stay for us before the missionaries came. All right. Well, the so, Nigerian um, brand, the Nigerian brand, as it were, is facing yeah. very critical challenge of you know battered image globally. Most Nigerians uh, seem to be either well accused. Or, or, yeah. or, or imagine to be ritualist or, or corrupt or things like that by people abroad who may have never had any contact with a Nigerian at all. But because of some of the narratives they've heard or seen, maybe in the movies or any other way, how is the industry responding to reported or alleged negative influences by some of your contents? Okay, you know, the truth of the matter is, is yeah, when you're telling a story, most times you, you paint a picture with a lot of intrigues to make it more interesting for the layman to sit down and watch. 
and be captivated. I know that there had been a lot of stories being painted on ritual killings and so forth and so on, you know, that's going on in the society. And honestly, we cannot take away that certain things are happening. Mm -hmm. And in Nigeria or in Africa is not the only place where we have kidnappings or where we have terrible things happen. It happens in the Western world too. People get kidnapped. You understand? Um, maybe for the rituals, it might not appear very gruesome, you understand? But there are also people who are in the Western world and who belong to certain societies or certain confraternities. Those things are there. I'm not trying to support the way uh, maybe the pictures are painted, because in some ways it doesn't tell well about us. But when you're telling a story, you cut across. It's not, um, of course, these days they're trying to tone it down. They might not do all the bloody, bloody things, you know, like... Um, horror kind of thing, you understand? But they try to also paint pictures that will depict what goes on in the society so that people can actually be a lot. I mean, we never used to have kidnappings the way it is now in our country. We can't take away that there is terrorism and a lot of things that are going on. And people are meant to get aware because normally a young person might just get into the vehicle, get to the bus stop, hop into a bus, and he's on her way to school or he's on his way to wherever he's going to. Nobody ever knew that there would be a time when people will kidnap people or they will talk about one chance and things like that. So if you do not paint that story, maybe not in a very gruesome manner, for people to know that be aware, stay alert. And be careful because these things are happening. The way it happens here, I want to tell you, my dear, is the way it happens abroad. There are kidnappings. Terrible things happen. We all watch um, foreign movies and we see um, places where serious, I mean, there are all these um, criminal cases that they show on um, DSTV and some foreign mm -hmm. stations where people are murdered in the most gruesome manners and their bodies hidden. But you see, maybe their people are not painting it in the way it happens. But, but there are also programs that they have that showcase such criminal things that go on. So I'm not actually all for, you know, painting gruesome pictures when we're telling our stories. But it doesn't take away the fact that most times those things happen in reality. So but of course we're working need, on There is a need for balance. So as Absolutely. a producer, as a producer, do you sometimes face the challenge to be able to balance the challenge of balancing out, you know, your portrayals of the good and evils in the society. Absolutely. And I want to say that if you are watching now and what our pictures used to be 10 years back, you can agree with me that there has been, you know, some change. Maybe not totally the way people are expecting it to be, but it's a progressive movement. You know that when you, when you put pictures out there or when you put movies out there, you, you expect a feedback. So the feedback that you get is what makes you know what to work on, what to you know, tone down, or what to increase, or what to balance. But I just want to tell you that truly, we are working on balancing a lot of things, you know, um, um, so that it doesn't appear like we are depicting ourselves in a terrible manner, or depicting ourselves in, um, in um, a way that you know, people would not look at us in the right way or in the right manner. So the, um, um, measures are being put in place, actually. What are these so measures? That, uh, what have been yes, these measures? I imagine they are being put to improve the medium uh, as a transformative uh, means of communication. What measures are, are being measures? put in place, I will tell you that, because even as uh, people who produce movies, there are certain languages that cannot be used on set because you'll be penalized even before those movies are approved by a censors board and all of that, there are certain pictures that you cannot put there because you will be penalized before um, um, censors board can have, you can't, it would even come to public space for people to watch. So a lot of measures are being put in place for those kind of things to be toned down. I can actually tell you that. Does Nollywood project our values in a positive light, would you say, on a whole? Of Yes, Nollywood projects our values in very positive lights. We do. We tell stories that um, that um, depict the uh, beautiful culture, the improvement that has happened in this part of the world, um, the fact that Nigeria has gotten better, is no longer Africa is no longer where you have monkeys jumping from tree to tree like some uh, parts of the world used to think. So Nollywood has projected a lot, has, I mean, brought Nigeria to the, to the to limelight. It's it's a huge industry, and a lot has actually happened from this part of the world, showcasing Nigeria to the world, that we're doing a great job. 
I know that, you know, for us as Nigerians, we always have very high stakes that, oh, they should do better. Oh, they should do better. But the truth of the matter is that from the foreign world, they are amazed at what we are able to do with very limited resources, working in very stringent conditions that are not really very comfortable. I want you to also know that most of the, non of the movies in Nollywood are self-sponsored. We don't have um, um, government parastatals that sponsor the movies. I mean, there are no government um, um, allocations. That, I, know oh, okay, that this time of president, I know that in the time of President Jonathan, good luck, Jonathan, yes, government smiled the on the Nollywood. Yes, uh, has it stopped? Has it changed? with governments that took over? Well, yes, there was a, a support from President Jonathan, no doubt. He did very well, and God bless, his, bless him. But the truth of the matter is that these things are continuous. For example, if you put down, let me say, um, 50 million for a certain cinema movie, and you're done with that job, it's a continuous process. Because as you keep working and selling and making profit and recouping, you have to continue to reinvest in whatever you're doing. And then, of course, the government should also support to do more. So, but I want to say that Nollywood has painted Nigeria in a beautiful light. The world at large, especially the movie industry in, um, in, in the U.S. and wherever, they actually are amazed at the amount of work that we do and what we're able to come up with, working with very stringent conditions and working with very limited resources. So these are just people out of passion that came together to you know, do something beautiful with their craft and their skills. It's um, it's a process. America didn't start today. They are doing amazingly well, and we are on a working um, we're on a journey. So I'm sure that in the nearest future, we'll definitely you guys will be very proud of us. <laughs> we'll get to that place where everybody will say, "Oh wow, you people are doing a fantastic." fantastic job. So I will say that is a working process. Well, we are proud of Nollywood as it is today. I mean, you're providing job, you're bringing in revenue. Uh, nobody considered uh, Nollywood as a, gener a revenue generator for the country when Nollywood, uh, say 1992, for instance. So Nigerians mm -hmm. are very mindful of the value that Nollywood is bringing to the table. However, films have become a significant force in modern culture globally. There are also concerns uh, that imported cultures uh, through foreign movies are gradually influencing Nollywood. Sorry, say that again. There are concerns that some foreign yeah. cultures brought in through foreign movies are gradually influencing Nollywood, your content. How yeah. do you respond to that? Okay. okay, yes. Um. You see, the truth of the matter is this here. Yeah. Yes, there could be some influence. But there are different genres of the theater. The, in as much as, yes, you could have an influence in so many ways, maybe in um, um, maybe the way um, some of our colleagues, you know, everybody wants to be on point. Everybody wants to keep abreast. Everybody wants to be, um, to be trending. Everybody wants to be very, very current. So maybe in certain ways of us, some of us doing certain things, okay, we are trying to be like our counterparts abroad. But when it comes to content that is being released, Yes, there could be a lot of improvement. There could be a lot of influence. If you're talking about technicals, now I'm looking from that angle. We are not like, you know, um, working the way we used to work with uh, maybe not very um, um, sophisticated equipments and all of that. Things have improved. When talking about content also, yes, there could have been some form of influence from, that, from their own side coming to us you know, getting better at jobs and uh, getting better at telling stories and trying to paint um, very um, beautiful, modern, sophisticated, civilized pictures. No, the concern, but it doesn't the concern Thelma, the yeah, the concerns are the negative influences that okay. foreign movies are bringing to the society, which some believe is also influencing Nollywood meaning that Nollywood is beginning to tinker with um, their script to, and, and even their portrayal of their script, the interpretation of their script uh, to kind of um, reflect what foreign movies do, oh, like nice. foreign actors and foreign producers, how they interpret their roles. Because before now, we know that there were certain things that you wouldn't find in a Nigerian movie, in a Nigerian yeah. film. But today, a lot of um, liberty or... There's some more expressions. On, I'm trying to control my words. You tell us how much I, of I these have happened. 
Yes, but you see, I want to tell you that the world is evolving. And then for anybody who is a producer, a filmmaker, yes, you're using your uh, jobs to tell stories, to um, impact change and all of that. But you're also a business person. I'm not trying to support producing wrong content. Uh, sorry, producing them wrong content. No, not at all. But most times you might have to balance up and evolve and keep abreast with what the times are saying. The truth of the matter is that in this country, you cannot bring out any content that was not censored. It will not be in the public space. There are bodies controlling whatever that we are doing. Every single so moment. What we are doing before it comes out, they will definitely censor it and okay it before you can put it out in the public space for people to you know, consume. So if, you, if they don't do that and you put your work out there, it will be clamped down and that's money wasted. So, yes, a lot of evolving is going on. People are becoming more modern. Things are changing also. And remember that what we give out is what people are asking for. Let me give an example. If you make a movie and you try to be very curtailed or um, um, not extravagant in your way of showing your pictures or doing stuff that you want to do, and you don't have people who are watching, there will be a challenge. From time to time, there are stories that trend. So you find out what is trending and you work according to what is trending. You're going to have to curtail your pictures. You're going to have to curtail, you know, whatever it is you're putting out there. But you will have to flow with the times because you have to remain in business. That is the truth. I know that there are some excesses of things that are done by people. Maybe they cut corners and things like that. But when those things are found out, they will definitely be clamped. That's the truth. We have bodies that regulate those things, and then they will tell you things you cannot actually exceed or things that you cannot, you know, there are boundaries, for lack of a better word. There are boundaries where you must not exceed. But you will also flow with the time so that the contents that you have will be able to sell. But I also want to tell you that Nollywood is not totally influenced by our counterparts abroad. Like, we are taking everything they are giving, hook, line, and sinker. I mean, I, I, I'm yet to find, find there might be movies that are uh, funny, but I'm yet to find anybody acting nude and walking and the camera is all over the place pursuing the person. No. It happens abroad, but we don't do that here. Hmm. We haven't seen anybody going all nude. You understand? I don't. I haven't done any job like that, and I'm trying to think in my head as I'm talking to you now to know whether there are colleagues who have produced stuff like that. So there are boundaries. In as much as, yes, we're getting more modern, we're improving and everything, but there are still boundaries. Because anyhow you look at it, we're Africans. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. So there are certain things that, you know, we might not be able to get away with in this part of the world. Good influence, but we're not taking over the bad ones. And when people try to exceed their limits, there are actually um, laws to clamp down such things, you know, so that they do not go beyond where they are supposed to go. But there are influences, no doubt about that. But I think we're taking the good ones and not the bad ones. And we're also trying as hard as we can to keep up with our values as Africans and our traditions and to keep up with our cultures. That's a good place so to wrap it. Thelma Chukunwem, formerly Thelma Ngosu, a prolific actress and producer of Nollywood, has joined us this morning to take a look at the impact of Nollywood on our culture. You can also find her on Riona and Tinsel, currently running on DSTV, right? Yes, and a lot, 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 lot other um, movies going on on YouTube and the rest of them. There are a lot of jokes. Just I must tell you before you go, Thelma, that I am a huge fan of yours. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time this morning. Thank you. Well, that's the much you can take from that second hot topic. We have weather update, weather report for you at this point in time. Stay with us. <laughs>